What in the Nine Realms was that beast? Wished. The ritual has begun. This way. side here. She will not live to see the rising of the sun. Who dares defile this sacred spot? It is the priestess! Us. I curse you with all the powers of the moon. Your curses mean nothing. You drew back when we most needed your awful might. And now... The cursed is dead. She accused you of betraying the children of Danu. I was once one of them. How can this be? Deirdre warned me against them. But back then, it seemed the only hope. You knew these people. Why did you not direct me to the Red? They only wanted to use me. Distrustful and secretive. I never knew their true names or anything about them. 
A glen of great beauty lies on our road. Find me when you're ready, and I'll confess my errors there.
Shoot! Shoot! <laughs> Thinking about them tickets, dog. Not much longer, corpse!
This area is off limits. Hold you! Hey! You die 
now! God damn you! Enough, friend. Huh?
With me! Put you on a pike!
It is beautiful. I used to wash away my cares and pain in this pond. Would it be all right if I... Of course. As a young girl, when the Christians cleared the forests of Druids, I fled and stumbled on this spot. How would I survive? My friends, the world I knew. Soon, I turned to the children of Danu. At first, they pledged simply to keep the old ways alive. Then, one by one, Druids turned to dark rituals. Then they turned to worse. Yes, even murder. I disavowed the children, and now pray for their destruction. The High Druids spoke of some sort of awful might. Fantasies. An ancient fable of a people long lost. The Druids are now dispersed without a champion. You have King Flon. My hopes are placed in him, but am I a fool? He has no deep love of the past. He hopes to build a new Ireland. He pledges that my people will be part of it. But once he's king, storms will come. I cannot know where he will take refuge. You are no fool. You and I have been through much together. We came near death. I would like to celebrate life. Is this why you brought me to this place? Tis a lovely glen. Perhaps we could pass some time here. I would like very much to pass some time with you. I... lovely. Lovely indeed.
Eivor, I have you and Kira to thank for curing my men. Even if the source of this sucker does not sit easily with me. Not all druids are your enemies, Lord. It is the children of Danu who attacked you. Kira has told me of this druid cult. They are no great threat if they must strike from the shadows. Perhaps they only sought to sow doubt among their enemies, and the friends of their enemies. I regret my earlier distrust. But I've seen too much Irish blood spilt by Danes to give trust easily. I know what it is to be bloodbound, Lord. It burns so bright it can blind to all else. So, King, if Allah is the prize, how do you mean to take it? The Ringfort there is the strongest in all the lands. Yet the kings of Allah dwell outside its protection, foolishly leaving themselves vulnerable. Still, that's a long march over uncertain soil. Your army will be exposed to forces unknown. Abaddon has offered land at Clahar, where our army will make camp. From there, we move on to Alech. This just arrived. The kings of Alech want to talk peace. They surrender before you touch their soil? I know those who would die for such a reputation. I don't like it. The wording is vague. Asking much and promising little. What's the harm in hearing them out? If we start with the sword, we have nowhere else to go. They know me. They'll listen. You would speak for me. If you would honor me with your trust. Do you have an opinion, Eivor? Or will you simply side with your cousin? My cousin gives wise counsel. You lose nothing but time. And if talking fails, answer with steel. Time marches more quickly when you have an army to keep fit and fed. But I will consider your words. My life has been one of warfare, plots and intrigue. I have never known the trust of a brother, and do not give mine over easily. Arith McEver, King of Dublin, I hereby authorize you to speak for me, Flan Shinna, High King of Ireland and all of her people. I will honor the faith you have placed in me, my king. Do I have your blessing to accompany Barith, King Flon? I'll not waste our time on formalities, Eivor. But you'll not be going with Barith. I need you elsewhere. Tell me where. You must build up some goodwill among the northern Enail, as you've done for other kingdoms. Kira will provide the details at the pigeon coops. I will earn you their favor, Lord, for the trust you've shown my cousin.
Feel great.
indict me. Best not to draw attention here.
This place is heavily guarded. on some support. I'd best go see him at Tlocha.
God has heard my prayers. You flatter me, Lord. But what's wrong? Where's Bada? He's not returned. Nor have two messengers sent after him. This cannot be simple misfortune. It hints at some dark design. Do you wish you'd taken up Eivor's offer earlier? Aye. We may have lost three souls for not giving it more serious consideration. Let me go after him, Lord. If he lives, I will find him. Even with your cunning and guile, you would not go unchallenged. Not without a king's pass, and few Vikings have those. I'd wager a few from Donegal do. Donegal? A Norse settlement? A port, on the western shore. I fear... Is this port well guarded? It's crawling with Norsemen grown lazy on success. Good. I'll go to Donegal now, and get one... If it means fewer lives lost, you have my... Should not be if there are any king's passes to be had. I may well find one here.
running! <laughs> Vi sa det alltid är ett Ole C.B.
An impressive fortress. One cannot help but wonder what's within. Now to see how they treat someone with a king's pass. What business have you here? The business of kings. Here's my pass. Go on, then. Who are you to come before the kings of Ilar unannounced? <laughs> Fergal. You're not Fergal. Uh, I don't know you. I am Sturm of Donegal. Who's Fergal? The king of Dublin speaks of a cousin who advised us for a time. A glorified goat herder who should have taken our advice. So, Stern, what brings a Viking from Donegal here? You tell me. I came at your invitation. There's some mistake. I sent no such message. It wasn't me. It could have been you know who. But he hates Vikings. Forgive my brother's bluntness. We will get to the root of this, I assure you. Can I offer you a drink? Yes? More drink? I haven't seen the bottom of my cup since I got here. <laughs> if I wasn't a trusting man, I'd say they're trying to keep me drunk. No drink for me. I'll return when you have finished your king's business. If it's not drink you're wanting, you should take a tour of the ring fort. It's, it's renowned throughout the land. As we've told you several times, King Bard, the Ring Fort of Arla is not open to guests. In fact, you could even say that it's closed for a select few. Ah, so you're keeping prisoners there. <laughs> oh, have a drink, you two. Do you think I haven't taken a few hostages myself? I'll seek out a place to rest until you remember why I was summoned here. Of course, of course. Your pass will grant you free run of this place. If you see Fergal, say hello for me. For the last time, Bart, the ring fort is off limits. If I read Barth right, freeing Fergal could be key to liberating Arlach. And to do that, I need to get inside that fort. I must be careful now. There's someone here named Fergal. You're I am going he. Down. Who wants to know, Viking? I serve Bardith Makiva kind. and King Flan Thank you so much. They offer you freedom. What? You're Ava, right? You serve King Barrett. We were meant to check on the king and report back, but soldiers grabbed us and threw us in here. I'll let you out. Return to King Flan if you can. Die! 
so kind. Thank you, my friend. Jesus, guide my blow! Vermin! Focus! We have this! Thank <laughs> you. 
Join us, cousin. We've been having a grand old time, the kings and I. It's the abbot who's turned this place into a prison. He's taken hostages from all the families to control all of Ireland. Shut your gab, Donald. Owen would kill you if you talk too much. And Flan will kill us if we don't. It's like Donnell said. It was Owen. He told us to delay whoever came until... Until what? Until the abbot can move his forces in. How many men? How many? We don't know. No one does. He has some companies at Armagh. More men than he lets on. That's all I know. Left to my cousin, you'd both be puddles of blood and guts. But King Flan might spare your heads. You'll be treated as hostages, not prisoners. Until your king decides what to do with you. Now, think on your sins. It'll be easier in the end to let them keep their crowns, but... They don't need to know that yet. Flan must learn of this trap. I've already sent messengers telling him to pull his army back. I wasn't going to sit on my arse waiting for you. I'm impressed. Don't be. It took days of drinking that swill before Neil finally grew bored and careless. You have outdone yourself. I'll be sure to let the king know who the real hero was today. Thanks to you, cousin. Make sure that message reached Flan and I'll join you all later. May Sol and Mauni guide ye.